today I'm at this lovely boarded up falling over house where hopefully nobody's home to bother me. Looks like the basement's full of water. That's pretty cool. Anyway, hopefully nobody minds. I'm gonna climb up to the top of this tree and hopefully the berries I'm looking for are at the top. I'm looking for English ivy with berries. This is English ivy with no berries. We want to find some berries when we get to the top of this tree. So, let's go. Oh, it's an American holly, so at some point it should have some branches that I can climb like a ladder. But for the bottom part here, I basically got to latch on to the ivy. And English ivy will break. So I might not be able to do it with one hand. Maybe. If I can just get up... 10 feet, there should be some branches. There we go. We're getting there. All right, I found a branch that I can grab onto with my left hand and just kind of pull myself up. Oh, there goes that, that was the ivy that I told you about. I'm just gonna pull myself up with my left hand and grab on with my legs. If I get you up here, and I can finagle my right leg around and get it up on a branch. I've come to the conclusion oh, I thought this tree was dead for a moment. Oh. Oh. It's just the ivy that's dead. Okay. Ah. Oh. Oh, the top of this tree has fallen out. Push it out of my way. We'll just throw it down. I didn't go with it, so that's good. <clears throat> okay. American holly's pretty tough. So even a small branch like the ones I'm grabbing onto will hold my weight. Of course, this tree is rotted from the center and the top, so it wouldn't be impossible for it to snap off, but I think I'll be fine. I'm gonna... Looks like nobody's home upstairs. It's a shoe, it looks like it'll fit my little cordy. Hey, look at that little door. That's pretty cool. Secret passageway in there. All right, I'm headed up. Ugh. There we go. That was fun. I'm just gonna get myself over top here. All right. Now I'm perched up here like an old crow. Ah! And uh, not finding the berries I'm looking for. Hey, my phone's ringing. No, <sighs> oh, I got no time for that. <sighs> If you're calling, I apologize. I've just got no time for that. All right, so this is exactly what I'm looking for right here. These blue, little blue berries, purpley berries, at the top of the ivy where it gets the sunlight. So the top of that tree there is my winner. I've got to scoot over there and get up to the top of that tree. First, I'm gonna strip the berries off the top of this stump. Then I'll head over there and I'll be up over the peak of the roof there. That's pretty cool. What a nice place to be. Hopefully nobody bothers me. That sort of thing is okay. So we'll just drop those down. Okay. Just picking these berries off. Dropping them down. I got to do this for an entire day. Maybe two days. I got to go all around. This Whatever's here isn't going to be enough. I just got to go to a hundred different places. I need a couple truckloads of this stuff. Then I got to sit down all night and package it up. But that's all right, I need to work. And this is a fun sort of work. Get to do a little bit of adventuring, a little bit of climbing, a lot of monkeying. We're gonna send this one down the chute. Look at those. Oh, this one. This one's only got a couple of berries, but we're gonna send it down anyway. Get down there. Okay, there he goes. He successfully made the trip down. And let me get over here. 
This is a nice spot. Oh, now look at that. There's some up in that dead spruce tree. Blue spruce, half dead. I'll be going up there soon. All right, I'm getting ready to make the jump to the next tree. It's actually the same tree, but the split's at the bottom. It's a separate trunk. Be a little bit tricky, but I think I'll be okay with one hand. I'm gonna stand up in this crotch. It's getting a little bit windy. Oh, I'm gonna stand up in this crotch. This is ivy, but under it is holly. So I wanna grab the holly and not the ivy. So I'm gonna put you in my right hand and use my left hand to grab this branch on the holly, which I can see that it's alive. So I know it's got some strength. I'm gonna stand up on my right foot down here. I'm up on top of this crotch at the very tippy top of this dead, dead side. It's not dead, but it's got a hollowed center. Uh, all trees are dead on the inside, by the way. But once a lot of water will get in there and start eating the wood, your tree becomes a lot less sturdy and sometimes less healthy. It'll allow bugs and that sort of thing and disease to be rampant. So you, you want to test the health of a tree before you start climbing it. Before you climb a tree, test the health of it. And before you climb on a roof, test the health of that. And this roof doesn't look very healthy. That roof there is very unhealthy. That's an unhealthy roof. We shouldn't climb on that. It looks like the ivy's dangling over it. So I'm gonna be over it, but I'm not gonna put my weight on it, or at least not much of my weight. Doesn't look like anybody's home, but it's hard to say. I mean, I would live in there if I didn't have anywhere better to go. What are you gonna do? All right. Well, homeless people these days are usually just mildly brain dead, so they don't think about occupying some of these empty houses. We've moved up in here. It's winter time, so that's lucky because a tree like this would be a host to all sorts of stinging bees and caterpillars. So I'm glad that they're vacated the premises and I can just push myself up through here and get straight to business. Okay, and look at that. We're on top of the world right now. I have no idea what I'm standing on exactly. It's a holly branch somewhere, but no. More of the issue is I'm wearing these rubber boots and they kind of suck, but there's snow on the ground, so. This is great. I'm gonna have to turn you off, but what a nice place to be. I mean, I like it here. And, and look at all these berries around me. Beautiful berries, this is what I'm looking for. I'm gonna pick these, I think they're putting them in Christmas reeds or putting them in their pocket or eating them. I don't know what they're doing with them. I don't really care. I'm glad to have somebody buying something this year. Okay, so I'm gonna have to, there's my root down. So you can see I'm just standing on that little branch and uh, I'll be okay. I've got lots of stuff to grab onto if I start to fall, but that's straight down below me is my chute. So I'm just gonna start ripping ivy off. I'll just break it off, cut it if I have to. Just break them off. Try and get the good berries and not too much garbage and then we just send them down the chute Just like that. Just get them in there Fire in the hole send them down that it's making a mess So what happens is when you head back down you got a real mess ahead of you to clean up I'm gonna, If I get myself repositioned this will work a lot better We'll just break off some of this ivy around me first and clear off the garbage chute and Then we'll get down in there and you just drop it. Yeah, it didn't work but we'll just keep dropping it. I keep sending them down and I'll end up with a big pile. Let me just climb up to the top here so I can be the ultimate crow. Oh, hey, there's a water tower. So I've now stripped this side clean of ivy. You can see the house down here. You can see where all the ivy was up in here. This is the neighboring, that's a, that's a elm. You yeah, elm. Big old Siberian elm. Okay, I thought it was a maple this whole time. It's been tickling me in the ear. It's an elm. So I've stopped for a snack. All right, here we are at the bottom of that half dead blue spruce. Let me see if I can climb this tree while you watch. Well, you're coming too. So I guess you're climbing the tree too, aren't you? These lower branches for the first 10, 15 feet or so are all dead, but I think they're over. 
There's no branches at the bottom, but there's some stumps. These trees are kind of built like a ladder. Oh yeah. That was just a little, little bitty dead branch there and it was hard to break. So, I don't think I'll have too much trouble climbing this one. I have a lot of dead sticks in my pants though. Got one live one in there too. Okay, here we go. Oh. Well, now I can see in that window. And it looks like a cozy place to stay. This might fall on your head even here. Whatever I'm standing on is creaking a little bit. I'm going to adjust my weight over here. Hey, how you doing? So nice to see you again. I'm glad you could join us. I'm just in the process of breaking all this dead sticks off, getting some of this ivy out of the way so I can actually climb up here. The ivy has absolutely no structural integrity whatsoever. When you pull on the branches of the ivy, it just snaps. I don't know how it even stays on there with ice and snow. But these spruce trees, on the other hand, are very strong even when they're dead, so not too worried. What's that? Now look at that, and there's an added feature. Some dead wisteria climbing up here. If it wasn't dead, it would add some strength. Disease is rampant around here. These plants are all pretty sick, but the ivy's nice. Ah. Wish it was a little nicer and I wish there was a little more of it because it ain't gonna be quite enough for me. So I'm still in the dead branch zone. Oh, here's some live ones. So my lower legs are down on some dead branches, but my upper side is getting into some stuff that's got a little green out on the ends. That at least makes it a little bit stronger. Well, a lot stronger. What I mean to say is at least that makes me feel a little bit more secure. But you gotta figure if I were to fall, there's a whole lot of stuff between me and the ground. A bunch of dead branches. Just be like Rambo tumbling down there when he jumped off of that cliff. Aiming for a tree. And he was aiming for a spruce too. I believe a Norway spruce. Could have been a hemlock, but I think it was a Norway spruce in First Blood Part 1. It was pretty incredible. I don't think Rambo actually did it. I think it was probably a trick. But as I understand, he did do most of his own stunts, which makes the dude even more badass. I know his real name's not Rambo, but I call him Rambo. I don't care what else he does in life. To me, Rambo defines him. You know, once you do something like that, you're just gonna have to be Rambo forever in Jimmy Durr's mind. So, Rambo is a real badass when he landed in that spruce tree. I gotta put my hood back up getting all kinds of bark and stuff down my back. Uh, so far, this tree's been more of a pain than a gain because I haven't gotten into a lot of berries, but I think once I get another 10 or 12 feet up, I'm gonna run into some more berries because I was, when I was in that holly tree, you can remember we looked over here and saw them. So they must be up a little higher. One of the problems with this is as I throw these branches down, they're not going to find their way to earth. They're just going to get snagged. And then as I climb down the tree, I'm going to have to go around and around, pulling all my branches, dropping them again, trying to get them to go down. There's no direct route to the ground. Continuing up.
starting to get a little thinner. Branches are starting to get a little thinner. Damn hood's falling off. I want you to stay on my head, hood. Stay up there. I don't think those cops should have treated Rambo that way, to be honest. I mean, they could have avoided the whole situation. When they were telling him he needed to take a bath and trying to shave his beard, that was totally uncalled for, you know? I mean, the guy was a vet, a Vietnam vet, you know, not a guy that fixes. He wasn't an animal doctor, not a vet, a veteran. Is that, is that how that's happened? Is it come to be that if you fight in a war, you're a vet, and if you fix animals, you're a vet? How does that happen? We need a new word. They need a new name. It's not right. What do I know? Well, what I do know is they shouldn't have treated him that way. It wasn't very nice. If somebody was treating Rambo like that, I don't blame him for going out in the woods and setting all those booby traps. I mean, the guy had some serious trauma. It's getting a little windy. Okay, getting a little bit windy up here. I'm gonna switch over. Is this branch alive? No, that branch is dead. That branch is dead. I'm going over there anyway, I don't care. What are you gonna do? I mean, it's not that you don't care. It's just, I mean, when you, when you do this sort of thing, for whatever reason, I, I happen to do this for money. I started out, I didn't want to climb nothing. I mean, wanted to. I had a little spurt there where I was a little bit... <clears throat> we'll just snap that off. That was definitely dead. So... Okay, this tree turned out to be more of a pain than a gain, that's for sure. It's getting kind of windy. I'm gonna switch over to this branch now. Okay, I wanna ride it like a donkey. I'm gonna put my leg over two branches and get my head up in here. Ah! Ah! Okay. Ugh. Okay, I've got my leg over a live branch. I mean, this whole tree sucks. There's the holly tree we were in. And I know we looked over here and saw some good berries. Maybe they're up above my head. I think I was seeing things. Sometimes things look better. Sometimes the grass always looks greener on the other side of the hill. Or is that the other side of the road? For my case, it's always the other tree over. And sometimes it's just not the case. You get over here and things aren't as good as they seemed. What happens is you can waste a lot of time doing stuff like this. But I need these berries. So even if there's just a few, I guess it was worth the effort. Even though I know this was not worth the climb. There's got to be some somewhere that I'm not seeing. Because when I was over there, I saw them. If I put you out here, maybe you can see them. What do you see? I don't know. See that roof. See the road. I can see the wind blowing this dead tree around. Oh, there must be some berries up here somewhere. They're just not that good. What's that branch? Let's go up here. Anything over here? Any berries? Yeah, why did I climb this? Well, there's one. Get down there, and they're not even falling to the ground. I'm gonna have to go down there and wrestle with all these to try and get them to fall down. Now, I didn't know any better, and I still don't know any better than to find something easier or better to do for a living. This has been good to me, ah, but maybe I'm just lucky. It's hard to say, but let's get up in here higher and see what happens. There we go now, getting a little higher. A ah, little bit farther off of Earth. Now I'm gonna sit on that one. I have no idea what it looks like. I'm gonna try and get some of these ivies out of my way. It's starting to get really windy up here. Get that one out of your way. Get this one out of my way. Maybe this is the good spot. No, it's got one berry. That's not cool. Just throw that down out of the way. Well, this branch has got some green on it. I think I'm gonna be okay. Where are all, oh, there's a couple of berries up there. We gotta go up and get those. Looks like we're gonna end up in the tippity top of this tree. It's also got a bittersweet infection. Well, a bittersweet problem, but in our case, it'll be as much of a nuisance as the bittersweet is. 
if this tree was to blow over right now because it's so unhealthy and dead that its root system couldn't support its height and weight that bittersweet will sort of just kind of keep it there i mean i ain't even worried if this tree blows over the bittersweet will hold it of course didn't we say some of those vines were dead on the way up i can see some berries up here so i know that bittersweet's alive Bittersweet's an invasive vine. I don't think it's wild. I think it just came here and took over like us. Like the people here. Alright. If we just keep re ripping this stuff down, we'll eventually make a trail to get up there. Probably have a nice view when we get there, too. Here's where we are. We can see quite a lot. There's the top of that telephone pole there. I guess that's about 40 feet. So we're up there a ways. I don't know if there's any, there's nothing better. I'm about five foot, eight foot to the top of this tree. And there's just nothing better. I'm just hanging off the main trunk here, looking for these berries, but it's just dinky little pieces in here. And I got this entanglement of bittersweet below me. So, I think let me just look around real quick i don't know if that branch will hold my weight but my elbow will do a little work here all right let's go back down and see what's going on down there all right 